Hey there. So, even though it might seem I've always been a professional when it comes to running and all things athlete, <laughs> uh, that's not the case. But regardless, what I have done is I have started uh, a few times, <laughs> but started nonetheless. And I know for a fact that that can be the biggest step there is. So, uh, I've been a bigger guy well, pretty much all my life. And I've been running and, you know, exercising for the past few years now. And I figured I'd give you my five tips for a bigger runner to stay healthy when you're starting out. Now, none of us probably want to accept the fact that we are in fact getting older and uh, amongst other things our fitness isn't what it used to be so tip number five is start fresh uh, I used to play American football and I was though I was bigger I was a fit guy uh, now 20 years later I'm not that guy <laughs> and for example at the gym I'm nowhere near the weights I was able to do back then don't get me wrong of course I've tried <laughs> first thing I did was load up two heavy weights and fail miserably and lose motivation and I guess that's that's what you're supposed to do I'm not gonna hit those weights ever again that's not my goal but still to accept the fact that I'm not who I was. I'm not that guy who's still fresh in my mind. I'm in fact older, slower, weaker. It took a while, but ever since I accepted that one, I've been, I've been making huge progress because I'm able to start acting on the data that I have not on the one I had before I hope this makes sense but so I guess especially for us guys let go of that ego for a bit face the facts pay the Pied Piper you know because I can assure you it is possible even though you might not get what you had you know back in the days you're more than capable of improving on what you were yesterday and that's what counts tip number four now granted this is something that didn't help me from the get-go but it but it did help me in the beginning and still does especially now uh, it's keeping a log. Now whether it's Strava, writing it down, posting on Instagram, whatever it is, it is important. Because once you start getting your doubts on, you know, is there any progress happening or once you start getting to the point where you don't feel like doing it, you can check out how much you've actually done so far and though not in the first couple of days for sure but after a while you can also see that you've made progress now if you're going based on memory alone it might be the case that you're just remembering that person from yesteryears instead of person from a couple of months ago and you know, it might seem that you're not making the progress, you actually are. And when you get further on in your training, it's important to see whether or not something's actually working. So in my case, I'm training for a 5k and uh, we're getting to the part of the year where I can actually do hard efforts, you know, 400 repeats and whatnot. So I'm going to have to see after a few months whether or not I'm actually 
you know, progressing. And I couldn't do that unless I had everything written down. Check it out. Man, that's gorgeous. But yeah, so keep writing it down. Also, as an engineer, you can never have too much data. It's just how you read it. That's what counts. Uh, tip number three. Yeah, there's no secret to it. Uh, every coach, every program you have, when it comes to running, when it comes to pretty much any sort of fitness, it's strength and conditioning. Now, the only times you don't need to do strength and conditioning are the times when you're actually working, say, bodybuilding or power lifting because strength and conditioning is your every workout but yeah when it comes to running walking cycling tennis paddle pickleball golf frisbee golf what have you strength and conditioning it is what it is you need to have muscle you need to have functioning muscles, you need to have supporting muscles, you need to have, you know, strength. Now the point of strength and conditioning for a runner, in my case, it's to help me have muscles that support and keep me in a correct running form. When those muscles get too tired, my form breaks, and that's when, well, I break, that's when injuries happen. Uh, it's, it's as simple as that. You need especially those supporting muscles. Now, obviously, the bigger ones as well, but still strength, strength and conditioning. conditioning. Now, whether you do strength and conditioning once a week, you know, thrice a week, five times a week, that's not as important as the fact that you're doing it. 2000. And the specific type of strength and conditioning that best suits you, well, that's up to you and depends on what it is you're training. But I would still recommend a full body workout because in just about everything, you're gonna need your full body. 2000. Tip number two. It's stretching, mobility, and drills. Now, I know, I know, that's three things I can count. <laughs> but to me, stretching and mobility are so close to each other, although significantly different, that I felt comfortable bundling them, them up. And as for drills, well, I don't know. I don't really do them. I used to, and sometimes still do. I usually do them when I'm heading out for a longer run. I use them as a warm up. But now, since I'm doing shorter runs, I don't really do warm ups that intensely, at least. So I don't do drills anymore. But stretching, for sure. Mobility, oh yes. Again, comes comes back to the fact that I'm not you know 18 anymore i'm not invincible i'm sleeping correctly and i'm done for the day that's why i'm focusing on this downhill because if i was a seven year if i was my seven year old kid i'd just you know slide down this have fun but i'm not i am in fact 38 year old obese male statistically this is how I die so I need to focus on you know not dying anyway that took a turn uh, and lastly the one you've been waiting for the most self-evident the cliche tip number one go for it it's as simple as that Right now, I'm jogging so slowly, 
I just saw grandma pass me by, but I'm still outlapping everyone on the couch. I'm still way faster than I was yesterday evening going to bed. That's how it works. You know, planning things out, doing things correctly, safely, you know, preventing injuries, all that. It, it is highly important. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but unless you're actually doing anything, it doesn't matter. But the fact of the matter is, the number one way for you to get started is to start. That's it. End of. <laughs> Go out, enjoy the sun, enjoy the rain, enjoy the cold, have fun, <laughs> or, or don't, as long as you just do what you've been thinking of. Hope each and every one of you has a glorious day. I'm gonna head out for breakfast.